My name is Dorian and this is SEM. And this is a new look for us. We started, when we first started, we used to do the intro and the outro where you saw my face and I kind of explained things. And then we kind of got away from that for a while. Well, we actually started the gaming channel and we had to download new software. With that new software, we found that we can do the whole video like this and everything still looks good. So, this is how we're going to do things from here on out. Now, for all you guys, for all you 21 true fans, because I only have 21 subscribers, Don the producer will still be talking to me, so stay tuned. Should be interesting. So to start us off, we're going to do the 50 top grossing films of all time. 50 is a big number, and which would make it a very long video, which I highly doubt you guys will watch. So we're going to make it easy. We're going to break it into about five videos. We're going to start at number 50. And today, we're only going to do up to 41. So 50 to 41. The next time, obviously, 40 to 31. So on and so forth until we get to the top 10. So stay tuned. Like I said before, should be a pretty interesting process. And at number 50, it is The Lion King from 1994. It's the circle of life. Look, his name is Rafiki, not the monkey. There, look, there are a whole bunch of reasons why I don't want to be called monkey, alright? You know what? No, cut, cut, cut. The Lion King, the original one from 1994 by Disney, was voiced by James Earl Jones as Vasa. Matthew Broderick, which I did not know, as the older Simba, and Scar was Jeremy Irons. It grossed, and yes, I'm going to have to look down because these are some big numbers, domestically, $422,783,000 dollars. Seven hundred and seventy-seven dollars. International, it did five hundred and forty-five million seven hundred and twenty-eight thousand twenty-eight dollars. Worldwide, nine hundred sixty-eight million five hundred and eleven thousand eight hundred and five. Number fifty, The Lion King. At number forty-nine, we have Despicable Me Two. your business on the petunias. Come here. Here. These are frets. Go crazy. <laughs> I don't know how you talked me into doing this. That was just stupid and dumb. Like, there had to be better scenes than that in that movie. Despicable Me 2 was made back in 2013. It was voiced by Steve Carell as Gru, Kristen Wiig as Lucy Wilde, and Miranda Cosgrove as Margot. Domestically, it did $368,065,385. International, it did $602,700,620. Pretty sure I said that right. And worldwide, it did $970,766,005. Despicable Me 2. And at number 48, we have Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 1. For those of you that haven't taken Polyjuice Posen before, fair warning, it tastes like goblin piss. Oh, man, for one, that's a horrible scene. And who the hell knows what goblin piss tastes like? I don't care if it's fictional or not. Oh, my accent was horrible. Do I look Scottish or Irish to you? It's enough. Cut, cut, cut. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1. Back in 2010. Harry Potter's were like my favorite. So, one of my favorites. Starring Dan Radcliffe as Harry, Rupert Grant as Ron, and Emma Watson as Hermione Granger. I don't know why I had to think about that. Domestically, it did $296,347,721. International, you know it's English though, it did $680,572,381. And 
and worldwide it did 976 million 920 thousand 103 god I struggled through that I'm sorry I'll do better next time Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows part one and at number 47 we have Harry Potter and a Sorcerer's Stone Oculus repair no it didn't work my glasses weren't broke <laughs> magic isn't real you wish I would magically disappear. You know what? You know, <laughs> I'm not getting beeped today. So I'm not even going to respond to that. Cut. Go to the next scene. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Quick story. I was in the military. And when I was 21, uh, I was stationed in Fort Lewis, Washington. I was bored one day. And I went to my friend Lankford's room. Where she collected all kinds of DVDs. And she had this movie. Harry Potter. I was like, well, what's this? She's like, I don't know, some kid's movie. I was bored, so I took it, watched it, fell in love with it, watched every movie after that in the movie theaters. Stars the same people that was in the last number. Dang Ratcliffe as Harry, uh, Rupert Grant as Ron, and Emma Watson as Hermione Granger. Domestically, it did 318,087,620. Internationally, it did 659,000,000. 999,992. That was hard to say. And altogether worldwide, it did 978,087,613. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. At number 46, we have The Dark Knight. Some men aren't looking for anything logical like money. They can't be bought, bullied, reasoned, or bargained with. Some men just want to watch the world burn. That was pretty good. Shut up. Just be quiet. That, that was good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, the Joker line with the whole scars on his face was more popular. But that one I liked more because it kind of explained the Joker. If you really don't know who the Joker is. <laughs> I'm a stick in the mud. You know what? You can take a stick. And you can stick. I told myself, when's it going to do that? We're not doing that. Cut, cut, cut. The Dark Knight, starring Christian Bale as Batman slash Bruce Wayne, Gary Oldman as Commissioner Gordon, and the iconic Heath Ledger as the Joker. Domestically, it did $535,234,033. International, it did $469,700,000. And worldwide, this is our very first one, it did $1,000,000. Four million nine hundred and thirty-four thousand thirty-three dollars. The Dark Knight. And at number forty-five, it is The Hobbit: An Unexpected Journey. It is my own, my precious. All right, this was stupid. First off, I don't even think that was in this movie. All right, I think that was in Lord of the Rings. So I think we did the wrong scene. Okay, so there had to be some other scene there, right? <laughs> if I was a better actor, it wouldn't have mattered, huh? You know what? <laughs> you was a better producer, we would have more subscribers, wouldn't we? You know, let me let me shut up. I'm done. I'm sorry. Sorry. The Hobbit, an unexpected journey, was made back in 2012. It starred Martin Freeman as Bilbo Baggins, Kate Blanchett as Galadriel, and Ian McCullen as Gandalf. Domestically, it did $303,3568. International, it did $714 million. And worldwide, it did $1 billion. Seventeen million three thousand five hundred and sixty eight dollars. The Hobbit an Unexpected Journey. At number forty four we have Zootopia. It's called a hustle, sweetheart. That was the best line you could find, huh? Nothing else, nothing nothing just that one, huh? <laughs> there you go with that good acting job again. You know what? 
that's fine. I can be a bad actor. Okay? Why are you so bad at your job? What you watch? Five minutes of that movie and this is what you got? <laughs> Cut the scene. Cut the scene because I swear I'm going to come back there and beat the... Zootopia was made back in 2016. It was voiced by Jason Bateman as Nick Wilde, Jennifer Goodwin as Lieutenant Judy Hopp, and Idris Alba as Chief Bogo. Domestically, it did 341268248 dollars. Internationally, it did 682 million. Five hundred and fifteen thousand nine hundred and forty seven dollars and worldwide it did one billion twenty three million seven hundred and eighty four thousand one hundred and ninety five Zootopia and at number forty three Alice in Wonderland from 2010 Alice in Wonderland live action head again I just feel like that was dumb man we couldn't think of no other line than that <laughs> okay you know what I'm not even going to repeat that because this is a family show Alice in Wonderland was made back in 2010 live action it starred Anne Hathaway as the White Queen Mia Wasnakowska as Alice, God I hope I pronounced that right, and the iconic Johnny Depp as the Mad Hatter. Domestically, it did three hundred and thirty-four million one hundred and ninety-one thousand one hundred and ten dollars. International, it did six hundred and ninety-one million two hundred and seventy-six thousand dollars, and worldwide, it did one billion. 25468110 dollars Alice in Wonderland and at number 42 we have Star Wars Episode 1 The Phantom Menace from 1999 you will subscribe to my channel you will also hit the like button and the bell notification Okay, look, I, I know it's stupid, but hell, you need to try something. 21 subscribers, remember? 21 subscribers. When we hired you, you were supposed to boost our numbers. We hired you, and we got all of three. What are you doing? <laughs> you know what? I will, I will Jedi mind trick my foot straight up your... No, no, let me stop. Star Wars Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, back from 1999, stars Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi, Liam Nielsen as Qui-Gon Jinn, and Natalie Portman as Padme slash Queen Amidala. Hopefully I didn't mess up anything for anybody, you know, the movie is, what, 21 years old? Domestically, it did $474,544,677. dollars Internationally, it did five hundred and fifty-two million five hundred and thirty-eight thousand. Almost messed that up. Thirty dollars. And worldwide, it did one billion twenty-seven million eighty-two thousand seven hundred and seven dollars. Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. And and number forty-one, we have Finding Dory. I, you know what? I don't feel comfortable doing this one. This this, this is dumb. You you, you got to think of something else. This is this is crazy. We've been doing bad lines all day. That's probably the worst one of them all. So I'm not doing that. <laughs> okay. So it's my fault as a host is the reason why these things suck. Not for the lines, but me, right? Mhm. Mm you know what? How about this? It's your fault this video might not get any views. Your fault, not mine, yours. Say that again. What the hell you say about my mama? We came to an understanding. 
Finding Dory. It was made back in 2016 and it stars or voiced by Ellen Jenner as Dory, Ed O'Neill as Hank, did not know that, and Albert Brooks as Marlon. Domestically, it did $486,295,561. Internationally, it did $542,275,000. $328 and worldwide altogether it did $1,028,570,889 Finding Dory as you can see I got a different color hoodie on I got kids <laughs> uh, first take is uh, get used to Disney being on this list because uh, they're all over this list and they're going to be all over the next four uh, videos so they're pretty dominant when it comes to top grossing films and also too I want your guys opinion uh, do you guys like how we're doing the videos now uh, do you like how we try to do a portrayal of the movie a little bit uh, you know or should we just get right to the information like we normally used to uh, you know really want to know and also too should we fire down the producer you know like we want to make this better for you guys so uh, your opinion is definitely uh, wanted and needed because we don't know how to get better unless you let us know so please definitely let us know and was this video kind of long it was kind of long so was it too long you know should we make it shorter so if that's the case then we're, yeah, we're going to cut off some things so really do want your opinion not just you know to get a whole bunch of comments but we want to get better as a channel for entertaining you guys I'm gonna t stop taking up <laughs> any more of your time if you are new here to SEM please hit that subscribe button become part of this SEM nation once you come part of this nation you get that bell notification you know when a new video comes out and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up my name is Dorian this is SEM Thank you guys for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. And you guys have a good day.